This is Taro Smith talking about using the Prius as a power source. We're going to look at high power needs as well as low and moderate power needs. If you have a high power need, examples might be using a microwave or a rice cooker or even part of your house during a power outage. Anything that requires less than one kilowatts. Uh, you can use your Prius for this power indefinitely while until you run out of gas. So you don't need a second 12 volt battery. Yes, you do need an inverter, a one kilowatt inverter hooked to your 12 volt battery. You shouldn't really try to pull more than one kilowatt because you're pulling the power really from the DC DC inverter. So to protect the wiring in your car, stick to one kilowatt. The car must be in ready mode. And the beauty of the Prius is that the gas engine will cycle on and off as needed. All right, let's talk about low power need. An example might be charging your phone, a computer. This is a relatively short time and a second 12 volt battery is not needed. Do you need an inverter? Not really, unless you need 120 volts and the car can either be in ready mode or not. Now the Prius will act like any other car. But to power the auxiliary port in the Prius, the Prius needs to be in ready mode unless you've added an always hot auxiliary port, which I have done. All right, let's talk about moderate power need. Examples for this might be a 12 volt refrigerator or a 12 volt electric blanket. The duration can be long. That might be several days. Uh, if you have solar panels, this can be extended. Do you need a second 12 volt battery? Yes that would be recommended with a relay that can isolate the 12 volt battery from your primary 12 volt battery so that your primary is not drained. Do you need an inverter? No, you don't use it in this case. Does the Prius need to be in ready mode? No. Now in ready mode, the Prius will cycle on and off and it will rock the car slightly, possibly waking you and others up during the night. The second 12 volt battery with a relay allows long, moderate power without draining the 12 volt primary battery so that you can sleep or you can go for a day hike or something like that without having the Prius powered. It will always power your 12 volt refrigerator or whatever else you need. So that's all for today. Just wanted to talk about how you can use the Prius as a power source for high, low and moderate power needs.